All right, guys, Ty here. Um, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a cool little effect like this. Um, what it's gonna be is a uh, combination of the cell render lines with um, a wireframe effect. Um, a lot of people always think that the cell render lines is the only way to do anything similar to a wireframe effect, but um, there is more ways to do that. And if you combine them well, you create something really cool. Um, we're not gonna use the background shape um, today. We're just gonna create more of this middle shape like this because the background shape is my buddy's uh, team logo for Darth Dark Clan. Um, sorry for that. <clears throat> the little stutter part. Uh, yeah, I just woke up. So here, let's get right into this. Let's go File New. Let's create yourself a new file. Go to your render settings. Go to Top, Render, Render Settings. We're going to go to Output. We're going to change it to 1280. Change our height to 720. Then we're going to change our resolution to 300. Change the resolution to 300 because it's good to put anything that's a image at 300 the highest resolution possible if you're working with uh, motion or animation don't do that it's gonna make stuff take too long to render but for images it's a really good idea especially in Photoshop too um, then what we're gonna do is um, exit out we're gonna create a couple shapes go to your shapes option right here click on platonic we're gonna rotate our canvas a little bit so it's kind of straight so you have something to see what I'm working with go down to your bottom right over here you're gonna see segments we're gonna put it on five so we have more actual segments to work with. It'll look actually cooler. You have more lines traced when we do this effect. Then we're also gonna create, uh, we're gonna go to, up to the Mo graph. Click on Mo text so you can see what it looks like with two options. I'm just gonna go with the letter T because it's for my initials. I'll just use whatever the first text I see here. I wanna move this over so we were kind of like lined up. I'm gonna make the option. 400. There we go. And just one. There. Keep that there. Okay, now we're ready to work. Let me just set this a little bit more and zoom in a bit. Alright, next, what I want you to do is um, go back up to your render settings. Because first, we're going to do the re we're gonna do cell render lines first, and then I'll show you how to do the other wireframe effect next. Go back to render, then render settings. Then you're gonna go click on your effects option, which is at the bottom left, and we're gonna click on cell render. Now this is the important part, alright? Um, don't click on color, so this is just to see the lines. When you guys are working on it later, you can click on color if you want the lines overlaid, but um, you don't really need this. This is how you get the effect of the lines, stuff like that, so you can just screen it over your images in Photoshop. So outlines already collect, clicked, click on edges, and then for your edge color and background color, I want you to just reverse them. So click on edge color, switch it to white and change your background color to black now next I'm just gonna add a click couple of options you can do it too I'm clicking on global illumination and I'm also clicking on ambient occlusion you don't have to do this it's not really necessary if you're just showing lines because it's not gonna really put shadows on lines but um, it might do something if you actually really can see it um, and then we're gonna click the X button next you're just gonna quick render this out it's gonna take a couple seconds because I put on those options. Uh, you're gonna notice that, and you see this cool effect that I was talking about—the sun render lines. You've probably seen this on lots of people's works, and maybe if you're if you're a beginner, you've probably wondered how they did this. Now, this is where my idea of combining it in and making the creative looks cool. Go back to your right side of your objects, click near platonic, Command C, and then Command V, or just Control Copy and Paste. Now you're on your you're gonna be on your copied option. Go over here to this option right here. Click on this. Click on Atom Array. Now you're going to go back to your copied object, drag it up to your Atom Array until you see a down arrow, and then let go of the click. And it's going to create these little, this wireframe effect that is what I think is a more wireframe look to something you'd see like Plexus or something like that. Now make sure you clicked on your Platonic Copy, click on your Rotate tool, and we're going to rotate this a little bit and make it look cool. Just rotate it however you want. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. And then click off it. Now we have to do is go back to our Motex, so we have to do the same thing. Click on your, your Motex, Command C, Command V, so we're copying it. Go back over to this option again. We're going to click on Atom Array, and then drag your Motex copy up to Atom Array so that it's a down arrow once again. And then boom, you have that effect again. Now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to zoom this in a little more so it looks really cool. And we're going to quick render this out. 
it's going to take a couple seconds, like I said, because we have all those options. When anytime you have global illumination or any of those, all those effects on there, it takes longer to render out. Um, but, you know, most of the time it looks really cool, so. Just give it a second. You'll start seeing the image in a second. Um, do, 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 do. We're playing the waiting game. Playing the waiting game. Who wants to play the waiting game? The waiting game, waiting game. Wait, up oh, there we go. Look at that. And here we go. You have the image starting up here, and it looks really, really cool. Looks like some some elemental combination of you know protons and neutrons and all that crap. It looks really cool. And this is how I think you know you can really do some creative stuff with your wireframe. Make some stuff that looks like you know atoms and stuff like that or yeah anything like that and um, it's really not difficult to do um, I think you guys really enjoy this effect um, and you can really incorporate it into some of your work uh, guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, look forward to some more tutorials um, subscribe for more tutorials because um, that way you'll know if I update um, by putting any new ones up and please like and comment if this really helped you out alright guys thanks peace